Well, the news came down on Saturday. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton was acquitted over the weekend. State senators made that decision after two weeks of testimony. This means Paxton will be able to return to office. Six News reporter William Johnson has been closely following the trial. I think it's safe to say our state senators really just gone through the ringer, hearing hours of testimony, evidence, and coming to a decision less than 24 hours after deliberations. Paxton was acquitted on all 16 articles of impeachment. Now keep in mind, though, not everyone voted to acquit. Some Republicans sided with Democrats wanting to impeach. However, they never reached the 21 mark to impeach. This means the AG can go back to office immediately. Now, some state representatives are weighing in on the decision. In a statement to Six News, Representative Kyle Cassell says in part, thank you to Lieutenant Governor Patrick for conducting a transparent trial in full view of people of Texas and seeing this constitutional process all the way through. We can now turn our focus to the upcoming special session where we will take on the debate on education and work to finally deliver on teacher pay raises. One thing that's also raising a lot of questions is the settlement for the whistleblower lawsuit. People are wondering whether or not Paxton has to pay the $3.3 million settlement. If he does, that money would come straight from taxpayer dollars. Coming up at 6, we'll talk about the ways each of our state senators voted on whether or not to impeach Paxton. But for now, I'm William Johnson with 6 News. And all new tonight, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick has asked the state auditor to tally up how much the state spent on this case. Patrick directed the auditor to detail all expenses preparing for and conducting the Ken Paxton trial from start to end.